Hey guys, what's up? This is Jesse. In this tutorial, I'm going to attempt to draw Hello Kitty. Um, I need a reference picture because I'm I don't know what she looks like off the top of my head. Uh, I'm going to start with a circle and uh, try to get it a pretty close size to what her head looks like. And okay, that's good. And I'm just going to lock this layer with Control 2. And I think I'll draw her ears by hand with the pen tool. And just click and drag. And I'll make a point there. And her head goes up a little further, so I'll just do it from here. Find the center point here. And kind of make it a curve. Okay, so let's uh, create a mirror of this. We have the shape of a head. Um, and I guess I'll just merge these together. Cool. And let's see her eyes and nose. These are pretty easy to draw. Um, they actually look kind of like rounded rectangles. So you might want to use this tool. But I'm going to use circles just because I don't want to waste your time and let's see the nose uh, I guess that'll be a circle also okay and let's get the color of that and the border it's just kinda like a brown color and the stroke will be a lot fatter and I'm gonna put the stroke on the outside and maybe maybe three pixels okay now let's see her eyes here here she's got kind of a fat head and her whiskers I'll just draw a uh, arc well they actually look kind of like straight lines so I'll just use the line tool draw a line there and these will be the brown color <clears throat> and I'm gonna use the uh, fatten thingy there we go and uh, she has three whiskers. Looks like the middle one's a little smaller. So we got that. And uh, I'll just mirror these over. Cool. And for her head, um, I guess it'll use the same kind of stroke about five pixels and the inside will be white okay boy this is a really basic looking kitty the nose is a little big it needs to be a little less wide a little smaller okay and for the bow looks like it's just a circle with a half of a circle on each part make these a little smaller and um, then this looks like a uh, oh boy that's a tough shape I think I'll just draw it it's kinda like a little bow here we can close that off and pop it to the back here and then I can mirror this over from the center point of the middle circle and there. actually I'm gonna rotate it I don't want it to be mirrored there we go and the inside is a red color and the border uh, I guess just brown and okay and I'm gonna let me move that down a second and control G to group them and we'll pop this by our little ear uh, I think this should be a little thicker let me get the right border color okay and this color and let's see her feet are just ovals um, I guess we'll just go hey make an oval and rotate it a little bit 
there's our foot and I'll mirror the other one over and for her hand it just looks like uh, an oval but it gets a little fatter at the bottom so I'll grab this uh, convert anchor point and make this a little fatter and she has a, <laughs> a little thumb that's attached to it okay and let me get rid of the border to see how it looks let me put it on top of the pink yeah that doesn't look exactly right um, yeah that's probably good enough and I'll put that border back to three pixels so I'll merge it and her little hand here okay and uh, her pink dress which I can't see I'm not gonna draw the teddy bear in back so I'll just mirror this over okay <laughs> that's pretty funny looking okay uh, and the last thing is we'll just draw her little dress and I'll, I'll just make a little square behind here and it looks like it's this pink color and we'll give it a border and say three pixels send it to the back looks like she's doing some kind of Michael Jackson move or something um, and you know she might have a little collar that shows a little bit of white there so I'll just do another circle right here and cool and white and move it back with the little arrow keys I don't think I missed anything you know you could be more picky about the line strokes if you wanted uh, just for fun I'll uh, make some of these a little fatter and a little thinner it could just make things a little more interesting I think this is a really cool tool by the way uh, really not something to rush through in my opinion but if you took your time with it I think you could do something really classy with uh, different stroke weights uh, widths and everything um, and I guess I'll do our nose uh, I guess it's not gonna let me because it has a fill and uh, I guess that'll be it for this tutorial uh, I'm not gonna put this one on the site because it's just I don't know kinda junky but uh, thanks for watching